Welcome to Culture Screen, where we analyze culture. In this episode, we are summarizing the 12th episode from Season 2 of the Sopranos series titled The Knight in White Satin Armor. It was written by Robin Green and Michelle Burgess. It was directed by Alan Coulter. The episode first aired on April 2nd, 2000. In the beginning, we see Richie April's son is busy ballroom dancing and Richie's nephew, Jackie, is spending time at Janice's house with some of his friends. Janice, of course, finds out about Tony's gumar, Irina Peltkin. Tony has also begun feeling bad about leading Irina on and no longer wants to be with her anymore. At one point, Tony even tells Irina that she deserves better than just being his girlfriend on the side. Irina responds to this by telling Tony that she would commit suicide if he broke up with her and this leads Tony to walk out on her. Later on, Tony receives a phone call from Irina's cousin Svetlana. Svetlana tells Tony that Irina tried to kill herself by consuming sleeping pills and vodka. Tony rushes over to the hospital and speaks to Irina and tells her that she needs to find help. We see Tony discussing Irina's situation with Dr. Melfi. Tony asks Melfi if she knows of a therapist that would help treat Irina. Dr. Melfi does not want to get further involved in Tony's criminal life and she refuses to help her. Tony goes as far as speaking to Carmela about Irina. Carmela responds in awe and can't believe the audacity of Tony wanting her to feel sorry for a woman he is actively cheating on her with. Tony ends by sending his right hand man Silvio Dante to speak to Irina. Tony sends her $75,000 as a parting gift. Silvio is successful in convincing Irina with the help of her cousin Svetlana. In another scene, Janice is out with Carmela shopping for a engagement party dress. Carmela tells Janice that eventually her marriage to Richie will end up just like her marriage with Tony. Janice responds by saying that she does things in bed with Richie that no gumar or girlfriend will ever be able to compete with. Tony hosts Janice's and Richie's engagement party and Richie proposes his love for Janice and says he is happy to be joining such a great family. Carmela sees just how happy Janice and Richie are together and this triggers her into running toward the kitchen. Here we see her crying uncontrollably. A day later, Carmela runs into Victor Musto again and thanks him for sending his assistant to complete the job at her house. She confesses that she would have done things with him that she definitely would have regretted had he showed up. We also catch up with Salvatore and we see he is finally taking his role as an FBI informant seriously. He feels left out of Tony's circle and looked over. We see him wearing a wire for Richie and Janice's engagement party hosted by Tony. Salvatore goes as far as seeing himself as an FBI agent. At one point, he finds out that Christopher is going to steal a shipment of Pokemon cards. Rather than simply providing the intel like he has been doing, he chooses to track down Chris and his associate as they go after the shipment. In the end, Salvatore gets into a car accident and FBI agent Skip Lepari meets up with him in the hospital to remind him that he should not be out hunting down illegal shipments. Agent Skip reminds Salvatore that his job is solely to get information on the illegal activities of Tony and no one else. Remember, I am summarizing the entire series, so subscribe and click on the notification bell to be reminded when I upload the next episode. I will be reviewing other TV shows and movies as well, so let me know what your favorite TV show and movie is so I can summarize it in the future. Doing these two things helps my channel out tremendously. Thank you for your support. In the last episode, we saw Tony orders Richie to stop his drug selling operation along his truck routes. Tony reminds him that this would only bring on the attention of the FBI and DEA. This is made even worse when Janice tells Richie that Tony does not want his own children near Richie after how badly he injured Beansy Guetta. Janice says Tony feels he is a bad influence on his children and this absolutely infuriates Richie. Richie rushes over to Junior. Richie tells Junior that they should eliminate Tony because he continues to get in the way of their money. By now, however, Junior has made amends with Tony and no longer sees him as an enemy or threat. Richie insists and suggests that he will even be able to get support from the Barisi crew, who are also upset 
under Tony's leadership. This is when Junior agrees and offers his support. Richie heads over to speak to Albert Baris, the acting capo of the Baris crew and the cousin of Larry Boy Baris, to gain support. Albert Baris refuses to stand by Richie and says he is not in support of a hit on Tony. Once Junior gets word from Richie that the Baris crew will not side with him, he tells Richie that he should wait for a better time. As soon as Richie leaves his house, Junior says this failure to convince the Baris crew just shows how little respect Richie has in the family. This leads Junior to tell Tony about the potential hit Richie is planning against him. Once Tony is made aware of Richie's treacherous activity, he tells Silvio. Silvio reminds Tony that Richie is just not worth having around anymore at this point. Since his release from prison, Richie has only hindered the growth of the crew so Tony tasks Silvio with planning the hit on Richie. Before this hit can take place, however, Richie and Janice are home when Richie complains about his son choosing to be a dancer, as this isn't a manly career path in his opinion. Janice responds by saying that it really does not matter if people consider his son to be gay. This upsets Richie, and he punches Janice in the mouth for suggesting his son may be gay. This prompts Janice to leave the room and she returns with a pistol. She aims it at Richie and shoots him in the chest. Richie is shocked by this and can't believe this is happening to him and before he can make a noise, Janice shoots him again, killing him instantly. She immediately starts to panic and calls Tony for assistance. Once Tony arrives, he immediately calls Christopher and Furio to take Richie's body back to Satrielli's where they dismember the body. Tony buys Janice a bus ticket and she heads back to Seattle. In the end, Tony tells Carmela that Richie and Janice have disappeared. He adds that Richie will not be coming back and she immediately understands what Tony means by this. Carmela cannot believe the news at first, but immediately switches the conversation by saying that she wants to travel to Rome to go sightseeing with Rosalie April. Carmela tells Tony that she wants him to drive AJ around and also find a good camp for Metal to join while she is away. That was episode 25 titled The Knight in White Satin Armor. To watch the next or previous episode summary, click on the link in the description or at the end of this video. Don't forget, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button if you enjoyed this summary. Every like helps me grow this channel tremendously. See you on the next one. It's gonna be a while before I eat anything from Satri out. We upload new videos every week, so subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the like button as well. Click the notification bell to be notified of when we upload these videos. See you on the next episode of Culture Screen.